that is it for me, guys. I guess what we'll do now, we'll move on to the next segment of pre-stream, which is the plugs. Do some gratuitous plugs, and then we're going to move on to shout-outs for people who have contributed on the stream. And, uh, and then we're going to get ready. We're going to jump into Super Mario RPG, which, again, I'm very excited for. I love this game. Uh, I'm actually very happy I'm getting to play it now with you guys as an audience because I have played this game many times when I was younger, and I was like, man, this is the kind of game you want to talk about. And I never really had anyone to talk about uh, or talk to about this game. I'd love to talk about this game and enjoy it and share shared experience versus just playing something for yourself. You know what I mean? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for 10 awesome years of allowing me to be a content creator and share my daily gameplay experiences with you. Thank you for making my what I always did as a hobby a part of my life as a job. You know, I love it. I love being on live stream all day long, interacting with all of you, having fun with games. It's just a, it's a blast. I love it. And I'm incredibly grateful that I'm able to keep doing it. If you love all of my daily live streams right here on Twitch and you love the fact that I archive all of my streams as long play videos over on DSP Gaming on YouTube, if you want to see this to continue, you want to see these efforts continue, you want to see me continue to be able to do this for a living, and in particular if you want to see me stay in my house this year, um, there are many ways, many, many ways that you can contribute and help out. The first would be checking out my, t my Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil where your monthly pledges earn you personal perks, such as the ability to be able to, uh, the ability to be able to nominate and vote on games for special events. Next month, I'm going to be having a monthly goal of a special viewers' choice event, of which I'm still kind of working out the details in my head. But patrons are going to have priority access to nominating and voting on games for this upcoming viewers' choice event. Okay, um, that's just one example. You know, patrons constantly have a lot of uh, you know, control over these events as they happen. Uh, you could also get your questions answered for sure on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, which is going to happen next week. It's actually a week from tomorrow, so that'll be, what, the 28th? Yes, the 28th of March is when my next episode of Ask the King is going to happen. And you can get a private Q&A video made, a video of 20, 30 minutes where basically I just answer whatever the heck questions you have. Um, you know, it's completely up to you. So please give it a look over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. And thanks to everyone who continues to support me over there. I appreciate it. I also have a Teespring merchandise store where I sell all kinds of fun shirts. Also, sweatshirts and hoodies and stickers and mugs and fun other stuff. Uh, great designs. Anything you buy helps me out, obviously. In fact, today I'll show you guys I'm wearing one of the shirts. I decided today I would wear the I'm Pushing Buttons shirt. Excuse me, I'm Pressing Buttons shirt. Um, which does relate to fighting games. But in particular, today, I play Super Mario RPG where you need to have timed button presses during the animations of the attacks to either dodge damage or deal extra damage. So it's a pertinent day to be wearing the shirt, right? Um, I can attest to the quality of the product because guess what? The product, I own it. Obviously, I'm wearing a shirt right now. And I've owned a lot of these shirts now for over two years. I can personally tell you these shirts have not worn out at all. You know, and I wear them at least a couple times a month. And they don't wear out. They're really good quality stuff. And I know you're going to like it. All right. So please give it a look. Teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP gaming. Good stuff. All right. Now, if you're here live on the stream and you want to contribute, you want to jump in. I told you this is going to be a very interactive stream because we're doing an RPG. It gives lots of opportunity for me to be able to talk with you guys because it's turn based and slow paced. That being said, if you want to get a shout out during today's stream, if you either cheer with bits, subscribe to the channel or tip me all through those three things. I will give you a verbal shout out during the stream as long as you know your message ha is in line with the rules of the stream and you're not saying things that are insulting and you're not bringing up you know things that are unrelated and just derailing. You know what I mean? Um, so, good stuff, right? Anything that you contribute, you're going to get a shout out, get some recognition. As you can see at the top of the screen, we got a stream stats leaderboard where I will constantly be updating for the top cheerer and top tipper of today. So, you know, another opportunity for you to get noticed. And if you guys didn't also notice, the cheering leaderboard that is integrated into the twitch chat also updated um and is relatively low low amount so right now great opportunity for those who want to get in on that and, and get recognition to jump in and get it early before those t totals accumulate over the course of the week okay so all around great opportunities for recognition um in particular right now ladies and gentlemen if you want to help me out the most the best way you could do it is by tipping me 
Because tipping me, those funds go straight to my bank account and allow me to pay bills, i.e. to save that up and pay the taxes next month. All right? So I appreciate any contributions. And I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm grateful for everything. You know, if you, you cheer, sub, or tip, amazing. Thank you very much. But right now, in the short term, with less than a month to go, the best way you can help me is by tipping me. Okay? So please consider it. Um, there's a tips jar button below the stream you can click on. That's one way to access my PayPal tips page. Or you can type exclamation point tip into the stream chat. That'll bring up the link that you can click on. And by the way, you can either be anonymous, meaning you can do an anonymous tip with zero information attached to it and no one will know who you are. Or you can leave your name in a message if you actually like some, some recognition. Now, the reason I say that is because some people have been nervous about contributing and then having people try to harass them online for who they contribute to and the like. That's why we have this anonymous option, all right? So please consider it. By the way, you can also do anonymous cheers and anonymous gifting of subs right now. These are all new options that Twitch has integrated in the last couple of months. And I'm appreciative of that because every day it seems like I get some anonymous cheers or anonymous gifting of subs. So I appreciate all that, but again... Best way to help me right now would be tipping me, okay? All right, so thanks in advance to anyone who decides to contribute today. What we'll do now is give some shout-outs to those who have contributed today, okay? Um, let's go ahead and jump over to... Oh, my God. There it is. Let's jump over to my Muxy, which is tracking all of your, your contra contributions. We start off with Golden Colts. Who actually did two 50-bit cheers uh, earlier on when the stream was just starting. So Golden Colts is currently the top cheer of the day. Let's get him up on the leaderboard. Thank you, Golden Colts, for your support. Um, then we had Mimi the Copycat, who tipped me a dollar and said, Hey, Phil, I really love this game. Would you potentially check out in the future the Spiritual Successor, which is the Paper Mario series, like the first game on N64 and so on? Um, I would definitely consider that because here's the thing. You know, Super Mario RPG, I absolutely love. And it's been a fun nostalgia trip just playing the first four hours. I'm sure the further I get in, I'm going to, you know, enjoy even more. I actually really like Bowser in the game. So now that I've unlocked Bowser, I think it's going to be pretty cool to play with him more today. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, I never played the Paper Mario series. Never. The only one I played was Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. And I believe that was a GameCube game. And I played that for a little bit, like a few hours. I actually liked it, but I never continued on with it. Um, so in reality, I've had no exposure to the Paper Mario franchise. If people really like, you know, my playing of Super Mario RPG, or even if it's not a super popular playthrough, but if we have a core group of gamers who really like it and would like to see me do stuff like Paper Mario and are going to come out and be supportive and show up to the streams, etc., yeah, I would definitely, I would consider it because it's a game franchise I've never experienced. So for me... It would be a first-time thing. That would be pretty sweet, you know? It would be like playing new games. So, absolutely, I will say yes. Um, I would consider it. So, there you go. Um, But anyway, I want to get you up on the leaderboard, Mimi. Hold on. Mimi the copycat. Okay. Let's get you up here for top tip of the day. Thank you very much for the dollar tip. And let's, oops, let's update the tips total. Bro. Let's belch as loud as I possibly can, disgustingly, into the mic directly. There we go. And uh, <laughs> and let's continue on. So shout out to Geodude. Geodude has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Geodude, for the sub. I appreciate that. Then we next get another $1 tip. This one's from an anonymous tipper. All right, so someone utilizing the anonymous tipping function. And they say, hey, Phil, you mentioned looking forward to the authentic Italian cuisine. Did you have a particular dish you love the most? Well, I've been talking with Kat about this. And more than likely, we're going to eat Italian two to three times. All right. Uh, seriously, because it's so good in Connecticut and we can't get it out here. All right. Um, we're definitely going to be getting uh, pizza from the local pizzeria that I absolutely love in Bridgeport. This is the, the, the uh, pizza that I actually grew up with. And I ate it pretty much, I would say, well, at least once a month. Um, absolutely love it. So we're definitely going to get pizza from there. More than likely, that won't be a day we eat out or anything. What we'll do is we'll order, and Kat and I will go pick up the pizza and drive it to my parents' house and deliver that. We'll basically like delivering pizza, and we'll all eat pizza together, which will be pretty cool. Um, one day, I believe we're going to go to an area of Connecticut where there's this other Italian restaurant that I've gone to that has a brick oven pizza. 
So maybe we'll order like a brick oven pizza, a small, just to have it. And then we'll probably get, they have really good like big Italian dinners and salads and crazy authentic Italian stuff. So probably we're going to do that one day. And then there's a possibility there's a third Italian restaurant that honestly I think their pizza is just okay. But I think their other dishes are incredibly good. Like they got really good chicken dishes, really good pasta dishes. We may do that. Because the thing is, like I said, out here in Washington, we don't have any of this. There's like one Italian restaurant here that's half decent. So we're going to be going to all the authentic places, you know, that I am aware of. Now, outside of that, you know, I don't know what else we'll be eating. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to give you guys details on much else because, I, like I said, uh, it seems to me that the more, the, the less we tell you, the better. And I hate to say this, but it really seems to have been that the less details I give you about my personal life with Kat, the better our life has been. We have kept most of, if not all, the stuff that we've done together off, you know, offline, out of, out of the public eye of anything. Um on purpose to stop drama, all right? And I'll give you guys a perfect example here, all right? I'll be very honest. In the last year, on one of our days off that we took, we drove into Seattle for the day, and we went to the Space Needle, and we went up on uh, to the Space Needle, and we saw Seattle, which was nice, and we did a couple quick touristy things while there, and we drove back the same day. It was a very quick thing. Bing, boom, bam. You know, we, our days off, we only have one day off a week. We don't get a lot of time off to do anything. So it pretty much was a, just one fun day outing, all right? Now, I never told you guys about this because it's really no one's business. And you know that if I had told you publicly about it, people would have basically found a way to twist it into something bad, right? So, during my marathon, not this this month, remember this month I did a retrospective, it was last month in February. I guess somehow the desktop of my computer got flashed during the stream. I don't know how because I was capturing the browser. So don't ask me how, I guess it must have been a glitch, with OBS, where it accidentally captured my desktop or something, okay? Um, and when it did this, there were a few pictures from when we had been at the Space Needle. They were titled Space Needle, and it was me and Kat posing in front of the green screen or whatever when you go to the Space Needle. So, these, this is what I mean. This is how crazy these people are. These fucking people now said, Phil went to the Space Needle with Kat, didn't tell us, and he always tells us he doesn't have any money. He spent money. He went to the Space Needle and spent money. <laughs> and it's like, this is so insane. So just think about this. I live near Seattle. It's a 45-minute drive to get into Seattle. That costs nothing. All right. I went to Seattle for the day. Went to the Space Needle, which isn't super pricey, by the way. Went up, you know. We did a couple, like I said, a couple touristy things. We got some food while we were there. And then we came back home. So it was basically a nice day out for us. Okay. But... These idiots, you know, they twist it into... Phil must have spent thousands of dollars in Seattle that day. You know, he tells us he has no money. Then he went to Seattle and spent thousands of dollars. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? It's just insane, you know? But that's the bottom line is that's what these idiots do. They take little innocuous things from real life and turn them into giant, overblown, dramatic garbage. That's just, you know, a common person would hear this and say... Oh, that's something nice. Phil lives, you know, right outside Seattle. And he took his girl into Seattle for the day and, she, you know, showed her around, went to the Space Needle or whatever. That sounds like a pretty normal thing a normal person would do. But these idiots, that's it. It's like World War Three with them. Like, oh, my God, Phil didn't tell everyone publicly he went to the Space Needle. It's like, you're out of your fucking mind, you know? Seriously. <laughs> you're out of your mind. So that's what I mean. You know, you're asking me about, gee, what else will you be doing when you go to Connecticut, Phil? You want to tell us? I'm not telling you anything. I seriously can't tell you any specifics of what we'll be doing, when we'll be doing it. I can't because the bottom line is these idiots are so insane that they will actually take any little snippet of information and find a way to twist it into something horrendously bad. And I'm not going to do that. That's why I've kept my, my private life with Kat out of the public eye for over a year now, and it's gone really well. So, sorry that I can't really share, um, sorry that I can't really share any information with you guys about any kind of, uh, you know, complicated stuff. I can't. I can't share any information with you at all because the little bit I do will be the end undoing of everything. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, if anything, after the trip is over, then maybe I can tell you guys, I come back and do a vlog, a special stream a vlog to tell you guys about how the trip went or something, you know, 
Um, but I can't do that now, not before the trip. That would be, like, insanely stupid. I know how these people operate, okay? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Philly Buckeye in the stream chat just says, the detractors are already making things up that you're doing this marathon to make, make enough money to go to, to pay on a very expensive vacation with Kat. No, again, I've said this a million times. This upcoming trip, I'm not paying for it at all. This is my parents footing the bill for everything, you know, for the plane, for the, the transportation and everything. Because, you know, I can't afford it, and they want to spend time with me and Kat. Like I said, the whole purpose of this trip is to spend time with them so that Kat gets to meet them and spend time with them before it's a bad reason to go. Like, right now, my parents aren't in the best of health, but at the same time, they're not decrepit and falling apart. You know what I mean? So, now is a good time to go visit them so that the next, you know, God forbid the next time something horrible, at least we've got to spend some cool, good quality time with them. You know what I mean? And the other purpose is to show Cat around Connecticut so she gets to see my roots, where I came from and everything. It's a really nice trip. and It's a really nice thing my parents are doing for us. Um, that would not have happened if they didn't. You know, think about it. I've been here since the last time my parents visited was 2016. I haven't gone anywhere since I've lived here. I haven't gone anywhere, right? I don't have money for it. So that's why how ridiculous this whole situation is. People making shit up, right? They're morons. But anyway, um... You know, it is what it is that, you know, I, I, I that's as basically as much as I can tell you at this point. Um, like I said, after the trip's over, sure. Maybe like I said, when I come back, I'll do a special stream where for a couple hours, I'll just tell you about all the trip and all the fun stuff that we did. Um, and, you know, any information, anything that happened that was really neat, I can tell you, it'll be a nice vlog, I think, okay? <clears throat> okay, so there you go. Uh, let's continue on. Bent Boxer cheered and said have you watched the trailer to tarantino's once upon a time in hollywood as brad pitt leo dicaprio margot robbie bruce lee marilyn manson etc no nope i have not seen it at all i know nothing about it so there you go an anonymous cheer just a 127 bit cheer thank you very much to the anonymous cheer or whoever you may be um let's go ahead and uh Let's go ahead and get this up on the leaderboard here. Here we go. Oh, I know. See, Black Mage C-Type in the stream chat says, it doesn't matter what I say or do, the, the, you know, it'll be spun negatively anyway. For example, he can already foresee the newest thing will be that, um, you know, that I couldn't spend, I couldn't spend even a week with my, my sickly parents. I couldn't even spare a week, even though it's not the case at all. You know, it was more, it's it's scheduling, it's on their, you know, my dad still works, so it's on his half, part of it, on Cat, you know, Cat's schedule, being able to get time off of work. It's been basically a hundred factors factoring into this trip. Um, But, you know, that's exactly right. It'll be twisted into something horrendously bad against me, rather than the reality of the situation. That's what always happens, so. Um, but anyway, thank you to the anonymous cheerer. You're the top cheerer of the day. Real Talk Play Apex Cheer and ask where I'm staying. I can't answer that. I can't tell you where the hell I'm staying. That would be the worst possible thing I could possibly do is tell you specifics about the trip. It would be a nightmare. Trust me. Um, so we're not going to do that. All right. And Mr. Shahath Cheer basically said that someone already has advanced copies of Sekiro and are playing them on Twitch. Of course they do. Of course they do. And by the way, they're getting paid to do it. Don't think for a moment they're not taking a big payday to be playing these games early. And, you know, that's that's how it is now. This is the reality of the modern era of gaming, everybody. There's no more, oh, look, genuine, actual, you know, gamers. Is these fucking people getting paid to play the games early and sh shill them and shove them down your throat early. And then everyone else gets to play it on release day normally, but it's like, oh, you're not part of the elitist group who gets the game early. So, you know, you're not the select few golden boy gamers who gets to fucking play these games early, right? And I don't support this practice. I never supported it. People getting games, early copies, even for review purposes, I believe it's horse shit. We don't live in the 1990s where people need to publish fucking magazines and have to do it a month ahead of time so they need early copies. Everyone should be getting the game exactly at the same time. All right, everyone. Everyone should be playing it exactly at the same time. And then those who are going to cover it for the internet will be able to do live streams and within a couple of days give you an honest review. And that's okay. There should be none of this early shilling bullshit. I completely disagree with the practice. 
And these people who are now playing the games early will be making thousands upon thousands of dollars, if not more. You know, like someone in the stream chat just said, Ninja got paid a million dollars to play Apex Legend. Not surprised. Um, that's what I mean. This is the reality you live in. So the bottom line is, guys, it's up to you. You could go watch those people if you want. No one can stop you. But you're basically supporting corporate marketing and elitism. And basically, you're falling for the trap is all I can say. You go watch those big guys who get paid the big bucks to play those games early. You fell for the trap. You from you basically fell into the, the black hole of early game promotion and the like. <laughs> And basically, it's going to hurt the industry, you know, more than help it. It does. It hurts things more than helps it. Um, you make the wrong people rich. And, uh, you know, because they're butt bootlickers and butt kissers, they get everything for free. They get everything early. They get special treatment, you know. And that's why they bring in the big views, because they're the golden boy few, right? Is that who you want? Is that all you really want? Do you really want Twitch to become... A website where there's 10 people who play everything early and get access to everything and they're the only ones who can make a living doing this and everyone else who you love the genuine gamers the people who actually care about the industry the people who actually care about you all right and how you spend your money those people do you want them to go away because they don't get opportunities anymore because that's pretty much what's going to happen if it you know keeps going down this uh this road just being honest here it is that's exactly what's going to happen is you're just gonna have 10 people who do everything and no one else will be able to do anything, you know, um, and that's unfortunate. But that's where we'll go if you if you follow those trends and this sheepish mentality of oh my god, someone's playing Sekiro two days early. I gotta go watch that, you know. Well, go ahead and, and line their pockets with fucking money, undeservedly, and uh, you know, or you can actually, you know, watch someone who doesn't treat, treat you know think that they're better than you or act like an elitist or get special treatment. And we can all enjoy stuff together at our own pace. You know what I mean? Um, that's totally up to you. There's nothing else, you know, I have to say about it. It's, you know, your, it's always going to be your personal choice what you do with your time and your viewership. So I am incredibly appreciative. All right. Incredibly appreciative of those who come out and watch my stuff on a daily basis. As you know, I am certainly not in any kind of a uh, prominent view viewing or, or, or you know, I'm the last person on the totem pole. You know what I mean? When it comes to getting any kind of special treatment or whatever. So. <clears throat> okay. Eternal Napalm Cheers is the limb you've lost will make way for something more useful. You'll learn to appreciate its worth. I have no idea what that's a reference to, but thank you, Eternal Napalm, for the cheer. And your boy Lem has subscribed to the channel for three months. He says two months and counting. Actually, it's three months according to, you uh, to uh, YouTube. According to Twitch. So. see here oops we're down to 482 subs it's been fluctuating a lot recently the other day we were down like low 460s and then it shot up so it's all over the place but anyway i wanted to update that before we got started last thing i want to do before we begin with gameplay here is i want to give a shout out to the top cheerers okay so let me go ahead and give a shout out to the top cheerers of the week um, so far, right? keep in mind that week is early. I'm going to be streaming full time every single day uh, this week until, you know, through Sunday. So the top 10 cheers of the week. Thank you very much to the following people. In 10th place, we've got Insomniatic Me. We have a tie for 8th place between R of HC5 and The Lightning God. In 7th place, we've got Rock the Ice 24. In 6th place, we've got Freddie Lamar Bosley. 5th place, Staying Night. Oh, actually, it's a triple tie for 3rd place. Between Staying Night, Gary, and Judicious Echoes. So thanks, you guys. Second place, Iceman. And in the first place this week, Hyper Viper Beam. A person who, honestly, I don't think has ever really attended my streams before. Started to watch me play Street Fighter the other day. <clears throat> Loved it. And was incredibly supportive and, you know, has been supportive all this week. So thank you to Hyper Viper Beam very much. All right. And that, wow. So as I was reading the top uh, cheers of the week... Fly Beast tipped me $50. Thank you very much to Fly Beast for the $50 tip. Let's go ahead and update the tips total for the day and also update the top tipper for the day. Much appreciated, Fly Beast. Very much. Thank you. We're now up to $52 in tips for the day. 
So thank you, Fly Beast, for that very generous contribution. Again, guys, just a quick reminder before we start. The absolute best way to support me right now is tipping me, even though I appreciate everything, cheering and subbing as well. Tipping me helps me in the short term with this tax situation. So please consider tipping. There's two ways you can do it. Below the stream, there's a tips jar button. You can click on or you can type exclamation point tip into the stream chat and you can either be anonymous or you can leave your name in a message to get credit during the stream. It's all up to you what you want to do. Okay, guys? All right. So I have to...